Bottles of pre-prepared agar for making media plates can be melted in two different ways. They can be melted in a microwave oven or in a boiling water bath. Regardless of the method used, remember that agar needs to remain sterile. To melt a bottle of agar in a microwave, first loosen the cap on the bottle. Place the bottle of agar in the microwave oven and allow the bottle to heat. Keep a careful eye on the bottle. Once the agar begins to liquefy, open the microwave oven and gently swirl or agitate the bottle every minute or so to prevent boiling over. Make sure that the cap stays in place at all times. Use a heat-resistant glove to handle the agar during this process. Hot agar can cause serious burns. Once the agar seems to be completely melted, swirl it and hold it up to a light to check that there are no lumps remaining. To melt the agar using a boiling water bath, the water must be deep enough so that once the bottle of agar is placed in the water, the water is at least even with the level of the agar in the bottle. Also, ensure that the beaker is large enough so that there will be about one inch or more of clearance between the sides of the bottle of agar and the sides of the beaker or bath. Loosen the cap on the bottle, then place the bottle into the water. Make sure the water level stays even with or higher than the level of agar in the bottle during the entire melting process or the agar will not melt. Bring the water to a boil. Keep the bottle in the boiling water until it is completely melted. Depending on the volume of the agar, this may take anywhere from 20 to 50 minutes from the time the bottle is placed into the water. When placing or removing the agar from the water bath, use a heat-resistant glove to protect your hand and lower arm from the heat of the bottle and the steam rising from the boiling water. Both can cause severe burns. When pouring a plate for use in growing bacteria or other microorganisms, you must use sterile technique to prevent the plate from becoming contaminated with any organism other than the one you wish to culture. These instructions assume that you have already prepared and sterilized your agar media, or that you are using previously prepared agar media that you have already melted. Do not allow the media to become cooler than 50 to 55 degrees before pouring, or you may have problems with it solidifying as you pour. Clean the surface on which you will pour the plates with 70% isopropyl or ethyl alcohol. Use clean scissors to cut open the top of the plastic bag containing the petri dishes you will use. Carefully remove the number of petri dishes that you will need. Make sure that the lids stay on the plates as you remove them. To keep the remaining plates sterile for later use, reclose the bag, as is being done here, and tape it shut. Line the plates up along the edge of the bench. This makes the plates easier to pour. The plates shown here are about 10 centimeters in diameter. Pour about 20 to 25 milliliters of agar media into each plate as shown here. The plates should be 0.3 to 0.5 centimeters thick. To maintain sterility as much as possible, remove the lids just long enough to pour the plate. Hold the lid of the Petri dish in your free hand as you pour. Hold the lid facing down and do not touch the inside of the plate or lid. Allow the plates to solidify for at least 20 minutes before moving them. Condensation may form on the lid. If the condensation is very heavy, as shown here, allow the plates to sit out to dry before bagging and storing. Once the plates are reasonably dry, if they are not going to be used immediately, store the plates in a sealed bag in the refrigerator. Make sure the lids stay in place 